It's day one of the Thunder's main camp from the Leafs Ice Center in West Dundee, Illinois. It's the goaltender session right now. The whole camp will get underway tomorrow afternoon, but right now we're joined by the head coach of Bloomington Thunder, Mike Watt. And, Coach, it's been a busy last couple of months since the season ended, a lot of changes on the staff. What's it been like for you over the course of the last couple of weeks here? It's been a whirlwind, uh, you know, getting everything settled and situated in the front office and then uh, obviously in the hockey operations side we've uh, made some changes with uh, hiring Leon Hayward and uh, you know it's it's been a whirlwind but we've enjoyed it. Here at the main camp for those who aren't familiar with the junior hockey circuit as much what what exactly is the main camp? It, it's just it's a, a chance to get all of our affiliates all of our draft picks all of our returning players and uh, guys that we've scouted throughout the year in, in one one building so we can take a look at them and look at projections and where we kind of see them fitting uh, if they if they fit into our lineup and, and and then bring them all back to Bloomington and from there we'll pick the team. Obviously, there's a lot of guys. The guys on the ice right now, more than 30 goaltenders. Tomorrow, there will be close to 200, if not more, guys out on the ice surface. As a staff with so many guys out there, how, how do you go about evaluating the different players? Well, I, I think as a staff, we meet every morning and then every night, um, you know, prior to ice sessions and then after the ice sessions and then at night. Uh, so we do the evaluation that way. We lean heavily on our scouts uh, because they've, they've seen a lot of the kids and, and direction. So as a staff, we just have to make sure that we sit down, uh, evaluate every single kid, and, and kind of project where they're going to be, uh, if they're an affiliate, uh, where they're going to be in the next couple years, if they're a returning player, where we see them fitting in our lineup, what role they're going to be playing. And then, you know, the free agents that we've uh, we've kind of been able to get into camp, we, we can kind of see they've maybe been overlooked, a diamond in the rough, so we have to make sure we're doing our homework and our due diligence. And obviously there's turnover like there is every year with, with every roster, but as far as evaluating the guys you have here, are there any areas you're looking at specifically or any positions you're looking at specifically? I think it's it's pretty general right now, but I think we are looking to upgrade in the size. Uh, just playing in the Eastern Conference, there's, uh, you know, Dubuque's a big, heavy team. Uh, so I think we need to add some size to our lineup and kind of define the roles of uh, each player. So I think, you know, top to bottom, when we're looking at the forward position or defense uh, or even goaltending, uh, you know, we're going to rely on Corey for the goaltending aspect and Dan Jewell uh, with their goalie backgrounds. But I think we just have to make sure that we're, we're fitting our, our pieces together together and what we want and uh, that's how every good team I think is put together is top to bottom looking where we need to have uh, you know certain players fit into those roles and how they're going to do that this year and, and that's kind of how we do that in main camp here. All right coach I'm sure we'll see you again before the end of the camp but we appreciate the time. Thank you. That's the new head coach here at Bloomington Thunder, Mike Watt, here from the Leaf Side Center in West Dundee, Illinois. Make sure you follow Thunder on social media, BLM Thunder on Twitter and Instagram, and Bloomington.Thunder on Facebook through, for updates throughout all of camp. For now, that'll do it for day one of the Thunder's main camp here in West Dundee, Illinois.